How's it going, YouTube? Chris here at my home theater. Got a brand new video for you this afternoon. Uh, took the day off. I worked in, uh, in here a little bit yesterday. Took the day off today. Uh, you know where I'm at. I'm in South Carolina. Uh, earlier this morning when I woke up, they had the eye coming right over the top of where I live. Just shifted a little bit east now. So, but still, I mean, you know, we got a hurricane barreling down on us. So we still have power. Wind's been blowing, picking up you know, all day long, it's been raining all day, but I took the day off so I could work in my theater. I had a lot I wanted to get done this weekend. I wanted to have some sheetrock hung. I wanted to have all my wiring done. So after this weekend, basically I can just do finish work. I can finish out the sheetrock, sand it, paint it. I can uh, get my carpet installed and we'd be just be get my screen installed. Uh, I mean, I just, I'm ready to get this thing done. And, uh, so uh, let's just pan the camera around and let it be uh, self-explanatory. Let me show you what I did. So I've already got my speakers out here. Everything was hooked up. I've been doing some testing. And I'm going to tell you guys, I got that one amp, that SunTron amp, that's 2,000 watts. And I was going to put it on this, whichever sub, but I had it on this one. And then I bought another... Uh, Rockville amp that bridges to 2000 watts. That I was gonna put on this one. I gotta have a different type of connection for the input, but and I don't have one, so I just hooked it up stereo. Both speakers on stereo. It's pushing about 900 watts on those 18s. I'm gonna tell you something, guys. I think I'm gonna send that amp back because I have tur turned it up because I was doing some experimenting last night. I wanted to go outside, I wanted to hear how much sounds outside and this is before i've done some other stuff and we'll get to it i know you see it over here i got insulation up but i just wanted to hear what my sound leakage is and i'm gonna tell you <laughs> those subs rock and only putting 900 watts to both of them now i know this room is small uh 900 watts that amp wouldn't even make a difference in my other room because it was like so much more cubic feet than this one so I don't know. I, I'm I'm up in the air. I got some time. I can finish out the room, and then I may try them out and see. I may keep the amp, but I may I may send the amp back. Just run run it stereo on these because I'm telling you they sound good in the room. Plenty of bass. I hadn't really cranked it cranked it up. Nothing's calibrated. I mean, of course the room is not. I mean, I can't calibrate anything right now. So <clears throat> we'll 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 get back to that. But I'm telling you, I'm I'm impressed how the thing sounds. And, I, and I'm real happy with it right now. And we'll get this thing done and then we'll see. As you can see, I've put some insulation up here and I, I got some more. I got I got another bundle I bought this morning. Uh, gonna put some more, I'm gonna put some insulation up here uh, on the side, I guess. I'm just trying to get it to where sound wouldn't leak out. And I don't have any in the back. I don't have any behind these panels. Well, there's some on this panel because it's behind the wood you know, which is a wall, then a brick wall, then the garage, then another brick wall and whatever. So, and I'm still getting a little bit of sound leakage, but I don't think it's bad. I hope my neighbors won't call the law on me, but so we got that done, done a lot of testing. Um, I did get my lights put in. I have them wired up. I just, I didn't want to get in the attic. I, I was going to get in the attic today, but with the wind blowing and the rain blowing, coming and i just i didn't want to be up there you know the winds 40 50 mile an hour it's been gusting all day so i'll get up there in the morning and i'll just connect connect the wires because i'm gonna have those hooked in with these i've run the wires for these sconce i have to run the wire down into here so then i connect it to here and i've run the wire i see i had to cut a trench in there and run in behind that and and I just run around. That's that's what I had to do. I just cut a trench in there. So let's look at the back wall. Look at here. We got some sheetrock up. I went ahead and put my sheet sheetrock up for the back wall. And uh, I'm trying to decide what I want to do, guys. I'm I built the shelf here, and it's and it's a little bit close to the top of this. Um, I may put something under this and raise it up a little bit more. And I got to figure that out before I close this in because I got to cut a hole, a square hole 
I guess, square. Might do a round. I don't know. Could do a round. Look cool round. But anyway, I got to cut a hole for the for the lens to shine through. And it's working good the way it is. I'm, 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 I'm excited about how it's going. So, got that to figure out. I may raise it up a little bit. I mean, it's fine. It's shooting straight and it's filling up this hole right here. Everything looks good. I just cannot wait to get my screen up. So I was able to get the sheetrock up. I still got to put, you know, I got to do this wall. I wanted to make sure I had everything done. I've got the speaker wires up. I got the sconce wired. Everything's done. I got to unwire this. There's a little, I don't know, it's a heater. I don't know what this is. Man, it's ancient history stuff. I got to get that out of here. I got to unwire it. I didn't want to cut the power off right now. So I'm just waiting. So then I'll unhook this and then pretty much I can sheetrock this wall. I got to take this down. I got to sheetrock all this. We'll get this done. Got my speakers all wired up. The wires late, throw down in the back. Got them wired up. I'm thinking I might want to hook another one up. I might just wait. I just, I just want to get, I want to get this room done so I can get a break. So my rack. I had everything hooked up, I've unhooked it. Um, all these jumbles of wires, I am trying, I got my wire management in. Here, here, here it is right here. So, goes like this, wired up, and then you just drop your cables down, wires down, whatever. Down, down right here to where you need to go. So I got several of them in this box here, Amazon, I guess they was trying to, uh, get past the weather. They delivered at 8.04 a.m. this morning. Never seen nothing delivered that early here. So I got everything labeled. I brought my label maker. So I labeled everything sub, left. And you got, you know, surround, let's see. Surround, side surround right. And so then I labeled my amps. Label it all in at most. And see, I'm short, I'm really short an amp. And what I may do is, this is the amp that I just bought. And I, honestly, I don't know if I need it. I think the SunTron is gonna be good because I mean, it's got tremendous bass and I don't wanna, I mean, I don't wanna ride on a neighbor's house to where they call the law on me, honestly. I mean, <clears throat> I, <clears throat> I'm having enough issues right now with my Corvette and my son's Mustang, they want to, call the law but i don't i don't want them to call over here for my for my theater room so i don't know that i'm gonna keep this amp i'm gonna keep it in here i got i got 30 40 day whatever however long amazon's got but this this soon tron amp this man that amp is massive you see you see these other amps are not so deep and then the soon tron is all the way out and that thing probably weighs 50 75 pounds it's a heavy amp it's i mean i don't really know the name brand but it's well built and i do like it i mean i know it's not a crown it's not some of the other name brands that are good but it's a well built amp so i like it so that's what we got i'm also waiting on some patch cables some more i ordered some more of these rcas and i probably ordered too many of them i think i got enough these are the mono price cables and i mean you know they're cheap but hey, they work. I'm gonna gold plated. I don't know what the rating is on them, but I mean they're good cables. And I need I needed some six foot. These are the I think it's three foot, four foot. I think they're three foot. Um, so I ordered some six foot. So they're coming in. But I did bridge the front three, and I'm tell you guys these these amps they're not bad. Now. I just had the cables laid in here and the power cords, you know, the RCAs, everything's run around each other. I, I will separate them and see, but I did notice a little uh, in the speakers, you could hear the little crackling, a little buzzing sound and all. And I don't know if that's indicative of just being a cheap amp or whatever. So the noise floor, I think you're going to have a little buzz, a little hiss, a little whatever, but we'll see after we get the, our cable management in. And as you can see, there's a bunch, there's a bunch of cables here. So we're going to get this thing. I'm probably going to work on this tonight. Um, 
this afternoon. I'm probably gonna go ahead and sheetrock the stage area. I'm gonna do the top, the bottom. That's actually, I don't know how it worked out like that, but I measured it and that is one piece of sheetrock. One piece. I cut this. So I bought 12 foot sheets because it's nine and a half foot and I put my sheeting, if you notice, it's up and down. So what I did, that's one full sheet of eight 12 foot sheet rock and I cut a foot and a half, whatever it is off the end of it and just stood it up. So it's right right there. Um, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the walls. I'm just gonna have every four foot, there'll be a there'll be a seam. You know, I don't wanna seam all the way down the middle and then every eight feet or 12 feet or however far, you know, I do the sheet rock. So I just got one seam to do plus the the corners and stuff, which I don't mind. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll split the sheet, cut the end off. It'll be one sheet at the top, one sheet at the bottom, because this is, this is basically 10 feet. It might be 10 feet, a couple of inches, three inches, or something like that. So, yeah, I might do this, do that this afternoon. I have to get my stuff out of there so I won't lose it. Make sure I ain't leaving nothing up here, because I'm bad about being on a ladder and working and laying stuff in there, and I'm finish uh putting some insulation in there but that's what we got guys we got a lot <laughs> got a lot today got a lot to do tomorrow i want to i don't know that i get it done but i want to have all the sheetrock hung before i go to work monday and what i got to do here here's where my air vents at i gotta go to lowe's or my local hardware store and i gotta see if i can buy a little extension to come out here and mount to this so when the sheetrock goes over it, then I can just mount. I'm going to get a new, I don't, this this plate sucks. This vent sucks. I'm going to get a new vent put on there. So, yep. That's what we got, guys. I wish I could have had my rack installed and all, but I took a break. I've been, I've been out here since before 7 o'clock this morning. I wanted to get a good full day in. I just took a little break. And I decided to shoot a video before I started back working. I'm going to finish this rack. Um, I want to try to get all these wires hooked back up, wire management stuff. I said, I got two shells coming. Let me see if I can get in here. Um, whoa. So I know I'm, I must, I'm going to set this on a shelf and I'll set it up on a shelf here. A Blu-ray player, I may move it up to here on another shelf. This is sitting on a shelf. So I bought two shelves, so that'll take care of my two shelves. Um, I got a, I want to do a networking thing in here. And you can see I was watching, had Morbius in here. Man, I, my movie's got a lot of bass and stuff. I I hadn't list, re, listened to it in surround sound or anything. So, yeah, I was pleased with that. So that's kind of what we got. I'm going to have this, this whole top here pretty much is going to be open. I will have, like I said, I'll have a rack in here and... Uh, and I have my Blu-ray player up here. And then the rest of it will be for expansions. You know. And when I do decide or when I get some money where I can upgrade, I'm going full Emotiva. That's what I like. I do want the XMC2. Uh, one, of, one of my viewers sent me a, um, wants to sell his and I'm probably going to buy it. I got to get money right now. I've spent so much money. And, you know, I just bought this house, so I've been doing stuff around the house. And I just had to get the Corvette out of the shop. That was a lot of money. Did some upgrades to it when uh, the problem that I had. So, this rack, I mean, all this will be changed once I start going to the to, to the better amps, you know. I want two uh, XPA7s. They give me 14 channels, then I'll probably have to do a like, XPA2 or something like that to get my... Or, or another five or something. Because ultimately I want to do a 9.4. I'm going to have four subwoofers. I'm going to have two clip subs here and over there. Um, uh, 9.4.6. I want to have six ceiling speakers. And like I say, I only got the two in right now. And I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to put the other one in right now. It ain't that big a deal. I got the whole saw that cuts it. I mean, it won't take me 10 minutes to put them in so anyway that's what we got i've been working hard today i'm tired 
I'm about ready to sit down for a bit, but I do want to do, I do want to get this rack finished up and I may go ahead and cut that sheet rod. I mean, that's, that ain't just a few minutes measure, cut it, hang it, and it'll be done. And I, and then I can enjoy looking at it being done. So I may go ahead and do that. So let's pan this camera around. That's what we got guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I have been making a lot of, uh, headway today and that's what i wanted to do i took this day as a vacation day so i can get a lot done so hopefully the weekend maybe next video uh maybe we'll have all the sheet rock hung up and that would be a blessing because i do want to get it all done and start mudding on it and uh that way we can get this thing done and i can enjoy it maybe you guys can enjoy it with me so anyway i hope you guys have a good weekend if, if any of you viewers are in uh, the path of just Hurricane Ivan, just please be safe. Uh, don't get out in it. And uh, we'll talk to you again. We'll see you real soon.